welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to review an Etsy kit for a punch needle embroidery. It's the newest hobby that I've picked up and look at this packaging. This is so cute. It's a new hobby that I've picked up that I am really enjoying and I thought why not get a couple of kits off of Etsy or Amazon. Oh my gosh, look at this flower. <laughs> That's such a nice touch. I wanted to get a couple of kits and see if they're worthwhile. Maybe you guys would be interested in trying them out as well, seeing what's good, what's not good. We've got an embroidery hoop. We've got our needle. It's one that I haven't had before. This is our little flower. <laughs> How fun is that? What a nice touch. This is the shop that I got everything from. I will have it linked down below. Here is the Etsy shop link and their socials. So go follow them. So this is one of the plastic adjustable needles and it comes with your yarn threader, the little tab on the end so you don't lose it. And then here is the pin itself. This is the tip of it. You have the small hole and the large hole. They sent an embroidery needle. And some snips. These are some pretty good quality snips. Quite strong. Got our embroidery hoop, our reference photo, we're going to be making a wave today, and then our cloth, which already has the design marked on it for us. So here I have laid out everything that came in the kit. These are our yarn colors. Looks to be Pretty good quality yarn. Alright, let's begin. I'm going to start by putting our cloth onto our hoop. So first step, we want to unscrew and loosen up the hoop and remove the two pieces. Now take the part that is solid, that does not have the clasp on it, and try to center your fabric up with the design so that you don't have to take it off and redo it. So try to get it as even as possible on all sides. And then we're going to put our hoop back on top. Make sure it's securely snug around the piece. And then we want to tighten up just a little bit, just enough to secure the fabric so that we can tighten it up around. And don't pull too tight because you don't want to make the same mistake that I make. Like this. <laughs> you need to do it very gently and from all sides. I am still learning how to do this properly, so I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit more and pull very small sections. You don't want it to bounce like this. You want it to be more of a tight drum feel. So we've got it tightened all the way around. It is much more taut now. That's exactly what we want. So now we want to tighten up the bolt a little bit tighter so that our piece does not slip out as we're working or come loose. We want it to stay as tight as possible. So I have to do this with my fingers. I can't find my screwdriver, but if you have a little option to, to use a screwdriver, I highly recommend it as you're gonna get a much better uh, tightness on your piece. Let's start by threading our needle now. I'm checking to make sure that 
they don't recommend a specific size for our loops. So I'm just going to go with what I feel like. And I have misplaced my yarn threader. <laughs> it's a great start. Don't drop these. They can be a little bit more difficult to find. So starting out, I like to put the tip of the yarn threader through the small hole on the back, not the large hole, not the large opening in your needle. You just push it together and slide it through. I apologize that it is blurry. My camera was having trouble focusing today. You just slide it all the way through to the bottom of your needle until it comes out the other end. It doesn't tell me exactly which yarn to start with, so I think I'm just going to start at the bottom of the piece, which is the dark blue. So we will start from bottom and work our way up. I'm going to take my yarn and just slip it through the opening. And then on the top of the needle, I'm just going to pull it all the way through until it becomes a solid line again. And now you can store this away somewhere that you're not going to lose it. Now you want to just shorten up your yarn a little bit so that you don't waste too much. And we are ready to get started. So the correct way to punch with a punch needle is with the yarn trailing behind you. You never want to have your yarn on top of your needle because it will get caught up. So this is the correct way with the large opening facing the direction that you are moving with your yarn trailing behind. All right, and now we are going to start on this bottom piece down here. And when we make our first punch in, push it all the way to the bottom of your needle. And then we are going to pull out the excess yarn that we stuck through so that it doesn't get caught up on the top of our piece and messes up. And then we just begin punching. You'd never want to lift your needle up too far. This is another reason why your material needs to be really taut so that it's not pulling the material with it. You can just pull your needle softly out and then just barely graze the tip across the fabric so that you get nice even loops and the top is even as well. And it's better to turn your piece instead of having to turn your hand. It just might get a little bit more uncomfortable, be a little bit more difficult to make your punches even. Okay, once we are almost at the end of the outline here, I am going to stop and pull my needle out. So I'm going to just gently pull it out and then I'm going to grab the base and pull out some excess yarn so that I can cut. You want to cut right next to the, the yarn. I have made an error <laughs> when I pulled it out. I pulled a little bit too hard and I have removed one of my stitches, which is an easy fix. Just slide your needle back down the yarn and then redo that stitch. Again, I apologize for the blurriness. My camera was having a tantrum today, apparently. And again, just hold the base right, right as it starts to come out pull out some excess, and then now we can snip off the yarn. And this is what the top currently looks like. The back looks kind of uneven. It doesn't look like my stitches went all the way through. So in that case, I think, I think I'm going to pull all of this out. I am not, I'm not happy with it. So that's an easy fix as well. Just take your string and pull out your yarn. That's the, the joys of punch needle embroidery and embroidery itself is it's very easy to fix any errors that you make. And now we need to close up some of the holes that were made from the yarn. So just take your needle and very gently just scrape along the holes to kind of close them back up. And as long as you didn't punch any threads, then you should be good to go. This will close up the hole so that it will continue to catch the yarn when you redo your piece. So taking a closer look at the reference photo, I realized 
Now, this is doing a different stitch than I'm used to. This is doing more of a flat stitch on top. So the part that we are punching into on the top is actually going to be our end result. We're not punching to make a, a design on the back of the fabric. We are punching to make the design on the front. So now, instead of punching very close together, I'm still going to keep my needle very close to the edge of the fabric, but I'm going to make longer lines between each punch. I'm also reusing the yarn that I pulled out, so not to be wasteful. This looks much better than it did. So again, hold your yarn and pull it out. And again, I pulled out my stitch. Another option um, to do this is to push your needle all the way in for your last stitch and then turn your piece over and snip the yarn from the back and then just pull your needle out and that should prevent you from doing exactly what I've been doing. <laughs> it's personal preference though. And now to continue on, I'm going to lay what's called a brick pattern where I'm going to punch my next hole as close to the original line as possible without punching into it, but I'm going to do it in the middle of each line so that my pattern is less likely to have any holes in it and I get a more seamless coverage. I have run out of yarn, so I'm going to snip this off and thread it again. I think we are doing a pretty good job here. So far this needle has been really easy to work with. I feel like it's one of the cheaper options that you can get so if you are a beginner and you're not buying a kit off of Etsy or off of Amazon, um, I believe you can get these on um, Amazon as just a single punch needle all by itself. And this is probably going to be one of your cheaper options. It's also nice that it's adjustable so that you can have um, a wide variety of loop sizes. The longer it is, the longer your loop on the back will be, which that creates a fluffier piece. So this is what I am currently working with, and I do see quite a few gaps that I would like to fill in, which is an easy process as well. Just go through and punch any open spaces that you see. Looking better. This is what the back of the piece is now looking like. I need to trim up all of these loose strings. You just snip those off. I think this looks great. I'm going to do the next blue, which is just slightly lighter. And again, I'm going to punch close to the original line on the other, but I'm not going to go through that yarn. You just want to make sure that there is no open space next to the other color so that you don't have any gaps of fabric showing through. And again, be sure to lay your brick pattern so you get good coverage. And always make sure that your yarn is not tangling. If this happens, just stop what you're doing. You can leave your needle pushed into your work and untangle your needle. You also want to make sure that you always have slack on your needle. You never want your needle to be pulled tight because then you would just continue to pull out your loops, which actually happens to me later, so keep an eye out for that. Here is a prime example of my loops pulling themselves back out. So again, an easy fix. 
this is a very easy project to correct mistakes. I would just pull those out and then slide my needle all the way back down and just redo those lines. And this is what we are working with now. I think it's looking really good. I'm really happy with this piece so far. Next, we are going to do the lighter blue. So if you do need to take a break, which is highly recommended because this can be a tiring project, just leave your needle into your material all the way down so that you don't lose your stitch. And then you can just resume when you're ready to. section snip off your hanging pieces this is what the back side looks like which also looks pretty cool and the front side so far I'm really enjoying this kit I'm definitely going to have to go back and order some more to try out next up I'm going to be doing the white piece which is more of the crest of the wave probably with the orange section right here. So far, this has been incredibly relaxing and I am really enjoying myself. All right, let's fill in the sun here. I know that this was popular during the height of the pandemic. I was never on TikTok. I'm still not on TikTok. I'm sure that's probably shocking to some people. I just can't bring myself to get sucked in. <laughs> um, so I missed this trend and I've just recently discovered it and I am completely obsessed. I see why it went so viral and why people are loving it. going to be doing other kinds of kit reviews. I'm going to order some embroidery kits. I'm going to try my hand at that. Um, that's all I have planned at the moment. If there are other kinds of crafts that you are interested in seeing, please leave me a comment and let me know because I am a crafter at heart. I absolutely love trying out new hobbies and if you are interested in one and you are afraid to buy it because you're not sure if it's good or not, let me know. I will be the guinea pig and I will order it and let you know if it's good and if it's fun and if it's worth purchasing from either Etsy or Amazon or pretty much anywhere. If you are interested in trying out this pattern or any of the others um, in the shop, I will leave everything down below. The materials were really good quality. The needle was really good. 
it was such a nice touch with the flower. I'm really excited about this. I am going back and ordering more for sure. So this is our final piece and I am very pleased with the result. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.